Scores of users have been suspended or banned in the course of debates about uh, sex and gender, or for allegedly misgendering other users with terms such as cis or dude. And Big Brother watches research. Complete sleight of hand, all of it. So this is uh, Mark Johnson, legal and politician. to watch the news.
from all sins through prayers, abstinence and fortitude. I'm C of E, not Jesuit. C of E, the Church of Egypt, not the House of God. Do they call you none because you get none? Oh, I must be away from a pesky nun. I wonder why she enjoys making people feel guilty like that. Any ideas why? Oh, anyway, I'm safe here. Subject, Kim, um, has anyone in your immediate family experienced a nun hiding in their house? Oh, one of them with a grey turban. My sister put up with one for weeks. Used to appear at the bottom of her bed, in between a Barbara Cartland novel. Quite give her nightmares, it did. So, how did she rid herself of it? Exorcism? It was an unorthodox exorcism. Right, it took a while. But then she found Father Mahoney, an Irish Protestant priest. He began with tea and biscuits, but he got technical with prayers and candles. Do you have his address, please? I'll get it. The Rectory, 17 Pastors Lane, Riverview. appears to be the problem. It's not one of these maverick nuns, is it? How did you know that? You're the third here this week. Haven't stopped. All due to a lack of salvation. People must return to the church. Now before we get down to the nitty gritty, I suggest we begin with a prayer. Titus. To the pure all things are pure. But to the defiled and unbelieving, nothing is pure. But both their minds and their consciousness are defiled. Now, tell me more. Is the nun alone? Does she have a rat on her shoulder? Is there a nasty metallic aroma? Not that I've noticed. Can I just add that I'm against nun cruelty, but I just think if, if I don't act soon, they may start to breed or nest and eventually make me a prisoner in my own home. You've every right to be concerned. The three I've had this week were attached to the roof and quoting the Lord's Prayer. They were. Now, was there something unusual about the nun? Black cross, horns, suspenders, the mark of Satan? 
Not that I've noticed, it's just that she turns up when I least expect it, in, in the hallway, in the cupboard, in the car. And yesterday I was in the bath and she turned up. I mean, is there such a thing as a voyeuristic nun? Right, this is what I want you to do. Is there an ironmonger's near you? Yeah, there's one along the road, but wouldn't an exorcism help? No, no exorcism yet. We're going to start with a grassroots approach. Before we go any further, you must purchase some nun repellent spray. Use it sporadically around the house, especially in the co corners and the cupboards. We'll schedule an appointment next week. Nun repellent spray. Uh, while I'm here, do you have any uh, nun repellent spray, please? Yes, sir, we've got a couple left. There's no nun or low nun. Large or there's larger? They'll do the list. Tell me, sir, is it the only one nun or have you seen others? Uh, only one at present. Thanks for your advice. Uh, I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> done and let's move on to the house be generous in the corners kitchen okay, do the floorboards as well that only leaves the bathroom the hell? She's been back again. The underwear. She's, She's been, been back, back again. again. Who invited you in? Get out of here! You're not welcome! Get out! know that he who joins with a prostitute become one with her body? This is not a church. Who would become one flesh? That's pain in God's house. Change your psychiatrist. Cherry picking. Chimney services. Chimney services. I'll try them. Hello, is that Acme Chimney Services? 
No, I'm not phoning about fruit trees. This is far more serious. It's about my chimney. There's a nun up there. Two days now, must be working. Still bloody there. Still bloody there. Hello, Acme Chimney Services. Yes, uh, you came here the other day to get rid of a nun in my chimney, a transcendent nun. Well, that's the thing, I thought you'd done the job, but you haven't, it's still there. I, I can hear it. Do you want me to, I can, you, you can hear it now if you want. I want, her, I want you back here to finish the job, yeah. You do an exorcism, you do a chimney exorcism, yeah. I don't care what it takes, I will not come back in my house until she's gone. Yeah, please, I, I paid you good money. I just cannot live like this. Take the chimney down if you have to. He reaches out for psychiatric assistance. Oh, hello, is that the layhold surgery? Yes. Uh, what's going on? It's basically um, been having problems of a persecutory religious nature for some time now, and uh, I've been recommended your psychoanalysis, your psychoanalyst, Miss Haps. They said she's quite good. I, I really need help with this now. Uh, I wonder if I could book an appointment. She specialises in ab reaction. Honestly, I'll try anything. Two o'clock tomorrow, that's great. I'll be there. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Doctor. Um, that's enough for today. Do you have any other illusions, um, like Christ, uh Genghis Khan. Not so far, one's enough. Mm, very raised, a Protestant. Protestant, sort of. <laughs> I think you're suffering from a rare religious disorder, which is known as Catholic Persecutory Syndrome, which varies, but may also promote pious Jesuit aversion. Keep this for a fortnight. It helped get rid of the homes of the nuns. And um, give the office a call and the time. That'll definitely keep her away. My deep off. Is he now? these up all over the house. You don't like that, do you? God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Everywhere. And descend upon you from great height if you continue to refrain from prayer. Oh! oh.
This will get rid of her. Good book of exorcisms. Nuns. How to get rid of nuns in houses. Look into the mirror and repeat, I am the devil. I am the devil. I am the devil. Okay, stand in the mirror and repeat, you are the devil. I am the devil. I am the devil. I am the devil. I am the devil. tries to become more promiscuous. This will get rid of her. Nothing like a bit of flashing to get rid of an unwanted nun. Let's see where she is. Oh, are you here? Here? Come on, where are you? You don't like the human body? Come on, where are you? Oh, hello, Mrs. Smith. Uh, warm today, huh? Uh, yes. Look not mournfully upon the world's past. My damned head. My bloody damned head. Wash one's mouth if they cannot exercise self-control. Not you again. Why don't you leave me alone? For it is better to marry than to burn with passion. Redeem thyself for meeting one's maker. Get out! Get out! Get out! Is it for a man not to have sexual relations with a woman? Not while I'm driving. Temptation of sexual immorality. Satan must not be tempted because of lack of self-control. Please! Has he finally freed himself from this devout foe? Who are you? Where did you come from? Why am the Christ trying to run? Hello, is that the psychiatrist? Yeah, there's a trans in my room. Not transcendent, a transgender nun. I need an appointment, yes, please book me in tomorrow.